comment down below. These are the games that I have. And I have a circular, a circular icon for each game uh, that I've made in Photoshop. And just recently I got from my loot crate uh, this game, uh, Street Fighter 4. So uh, we are going to make a circle icon for that game. And what I usually tell people, see I've got Photoshop here ready to go. What I usually tell people is that if you want to learn Photoshop, have real life things that you want to accomplish in Photoshop. That just makes it much better and uh, much easier to learn. So we're going to go that route. Uh, first thing we're going to do is create the actual circle for the circle icon. And uh, I already have a template for the circles, um, but I'm just going to show you real quick how to basically do that. So the first thing that you need to do, uh, if you saw, I made a new image. I made it a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. And um, it gives me a white background layer, which is, oh, all right, that's what we want. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a circle. Now, uh, if you have the square rectangular marquee selected, you can hold down the mouse and then select the circle one. And oh, we're just going to draw one. If you hold down the shift key, um, it makes it an exact circle. If you let go, you can make it like a uh, oval or what have you. So we're just going to draw ourselves a big circle, uh, retain some of the edges so we have breathing room. And then we're just going to fill that in. Uh, let's fill it in with red. I like to do red as sort of a default color for stuff. So there we go. And uh, we're obviously not going to leave that as red, but we're just getting the circle done for, for starters. So next thing we're going to do is uh, draw another circle. And we want that to kind of can be uh, the center of the ring. We're just going to cut that out once we draw it. So let's uh, make that center. I'm just going to eyeball this uh, right now. But uh, you, can, you can get more precise if you want to. Um, all right, and so I have that selected. This is my selection, it's a circle selected. I have that layer there, so what's gonna happen is if I hit delete, it's just gonna delete what was selected and give us a nice little, uh, nice little ring. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna apply some filters or some styles, I should say. So we got our layer menu here. We're gonna go to layer style and we actually want a, a different color on that, uh, not red. Um, let's do a lighter, kind of light gray. There we go. And then uh, the next thing we're going to do is our bevel and emboss. We are going to select contour and uh, just to apply that. And then we're going to give it a pretty big depth. Let's go around like 600 uh, and get the size in there. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay, that works. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is satin. And uh, let's see here. Let's get the size of the satin better. And just kind of play with it until it looks about how you want it to look. this guy. No, I like that. I like how that is. There we go. I didn't really do much. Anyways, um, the other thing that you can do, go back, um, is 
this this is why I do a color overlay so that you have more control over the color like we can make it really light we can make it white we can make it uh, dark black however we want to do it so let's do that all right so there's our ring and um, we'll sit okay there now the other cool thing you, you can do is if you think like okay and this is what I'm thinking in my brain right now that this is kind of a thin ring you can just draw another circle like that put it in the center there that might be a little too meaty uh, let's do that one draw another circle put it in the center and then what you can do is you can actually invert your selection there grab our fill tool and now if you think about it if we undo all these effects this is just a red circle so if we put our fill tool fill tool like that and uh, we'll go ahead and deselect and then we'll just apply our settings back our effects back and there are, there they are so there we go that's our that's our circle um, now the other thing to do in preparation is um, we're gonna make it a, a drop shadow so we're gonna do another circle this time let's make it black we're gonna do another circle but we're gonna do an ovular circle just down below here uh, let's get a new layer so we don't mess up this layer put it underneath and we're just going to plop that right there and then we can go ahead and deselect and move this down so it's actually directly underneath we're going to want to turn the opacity down and that's over here on the uh, layer tool so you turn the opacity down down there we go and then we're going to apply a blur to it a blur filter so you go to your filters and then you go to uh, gaussian blur now the thing about the filters is unlike the effects you can't just switch them off and on so you're going to have to commit to your filter uh, make sure you want to do that filter the good thing is that it, since it's on a separate layer you can just adjust it move it around and all that so there we go there's our ring and um, something that I will want to do uh, for this one in particular is we want to give ourselves more breathing room uh, if you notice some of my some of my uh, shortcuts they have like things extending beyond the circle like braid for instance and uh, um, there's Final Fantasy 7 see so like Sephiroth extends beyond the circle so you kind of want to get more breathing room so what we want to do is we want to expand the size of the image without expanding anything that's in the image itself so how to do that is you actually go to canvas size if you think of this as a as a canvas uh, we can increase that size I always like to adjust the pixel so we're gonna go 1500 um, by 1500 let's see if that gives us that gives us a good enough amount of space there so there we go and that gives us more of the breathing room that we want now same thing with the uh, perfect circle uh, marquee if you hold down shift it makes a perfect circle if you're moving a layer and you hold down shift and you just move up and down it moves it exactly up and down where it is it doesn't allow any kind of left to right movement so I'm just gonna put that right there okay and um, let's turn that on opacity just a little bit there we go I meant up not down and we're going to give it a little bit more blur. So it's like a proper shadow. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's how I want it. Now, since we're making a logo for Street Fighter 4, we need to do some image searches for Street Fighter 4. So. Uh, best way to do that is with the Google image search Street Fighter 4 and we go to 
images. Now the great thing about uh, Google Image Search that you can do is you can actually go to Advanced Search and filter by a file type. We want the PNG file type because what we're looking for is uh, transparency. So we want the logo first. So it's this guy here. Actually, I have Ultra Street Fighter 4, but I'm going to go ahead and just do the Street Fighter logo because um, if, if you think about it, if, you, if I was to do this logo and put that on the circle, it would be not, it would be pretty cumbersome. This is nice and, uh, nice and uh, more rectangular, so I'm going to use that. I'm not too picky. You can be picky, however, if you want to. So we're just going to save that to, to my desktop. It looks like I have a copy there already while I was preparing. Okay. So that's the same logo then. All right, the next one that we're going to look for is a uh, sort of a background image. Now, I don't know if we can find something like that here. Um, let's turn off the PNG requirement so we'll do any format and uh, actually we're going to go ahead and search for a larger a larger file we want a background image without uh, without some of the characters in there so let's just specify background that's actually kind of a cool image there but not what I'm going to use um, well, that's a bit, that's too artifacted, it's not going to work. Uh, okay, let's see here. I don't want desktop backgrounds, I want, uh, the fighting backgrounds. What are they called? Arena. Arenas. <sighs> And then we're going to go ahead and paste. 
waist. Now it's going to be huge. We want this logo to actually be above the ring. So we're going to adjust the layer to make sure that goes up there. And then what we can do is we can go to edit, transform, and then scale. And we're going to go ahead and scale that down. Now, if you don't want to be precise, you can just do that. But I'm going to be precise. I want to keep the same proportions that the image was. So I'm going to hold down shift and it's going to it's going to lock that in, see, like that. So I want it to be rather biggish, but not so that it's too imposing. Uh, let's go down a little bit here. Sort of eyeball center it. There we go. So that's our logo right in front of the ring there. So that's good. All right, the next thing that we want to happen is let's put a character in there. Um, let's go back to our PNG file format. And I'm going to... Well, Zangief is actually my favorite, but uh, let's see here. What's that look like? See, that doesn't have the... That doesn't have the transparency, but it does have a nice crisp uh, thing that we could just remove that white. However, I don't think that's a actual game character. I think that's fan art. This must be the actual game character. Um, let's take a look here. Yeah, and I think that's got our nice transparency too. Uh, maybe we could do two characters. So let's save. Thank you. And we'll search for. Come on, we'll search for Ryu. Um, I know Ryu is like the um, mascot, I guess, of Street Fighter, but uh, I really do like Thank Okay, oh, there's Ryu. Let's open that over here. Oh, I like this one better though. It's a nice action shot for sure. That's got our transparency too. Let's do it. And uh, we're going to put them there. And let's go ahead and open them up. So we're going to go open Ryu and Zangief. Cool. They already got our nice transparency. But I am noticing something a little bit. Uh, bit concerning design wise they're both kind of right oriented looking even though Zangief is looking that way but he's actually like it, it, the whole character is actually that pointing that way and so is Ryu kind of actually well let's see what we can do so we're gonna grab Ryu and paste him in there and then we're going to go ahead and scale him down. And I want him to be behind. Uh, let's see here. I want him to be behind the logo. So we got him scaled down. We need to scale him a lot more though. Let's see here. That looks impressive already. Um, let's put his big foot there. Let's see here. Yeah, I like his big foot right there. All right, and uh, let's do Zangief. And we'll paste him in here. And we gotta really scale him down. And his foot's gonna go that way. all about the feet, I guess. Um, Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put... We're going to put 
got Zangief over here. Let's kill him down. Let's kill both of these guys down a bit here. So Zangief is going to be over here. His foot coming out of there like that. And there. All right. And then we're going to scale Ryu down. So it's relatively the same size. That's fine. Let's take the logo off real quick. Okay, so I want to erase um, part of Sangue here. I'm going to make a copy of his layer, and you just grab there and drag down to that option, which makes a copy of the layer. And I'm going to make a copy underneath the ring. And so that one, I'm going to take my brush size on my eraser down a bit. So that copy underneath the ring is fine, but the one above the ring, I'm going to erase his foot, but so it doesn't actually erase any part of him. Now, Ryu uh, honestly should be part behind Zangief, so I'm going to do the same thing here. Make a copy of Ryu, put him behind Zangief, and uh, I'm going to erase the top copy here. There we go. That gives it so that his leg is behind Zangief, so that's what we want here. Uh, the other thing that I want to do for Ryu is I want to let's put that copy behind the ring too, and then I'm going to erase leg here so that the ring shows up so that it looks like his leg is behind the ring and his leg is in front of the ring um, also what I would like to do is see what this looks like if I do this okay well I don't want to raise his head Okay, so that works. All right, so it looks like, it honestly, it looks like they're kind of tangled up in the ring now. So that's good. That's kind of, that gives it more of a, a three-dimensional look, and it looks kind of cool, and that's kind of what we want. So let's put the logo back up, and um, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and call this done. Uh, what we need to do now is we're going to highlight just the just the area. Um, I'm going to grab just the area that the logo's in, and we're going to crop. So let's go ahead and crop that, and then. size if you use this anchor it'll lock it so that um, it doesn't expand any pixels down past this anchor so, and that's what we want to happen so we want to actually match the pixels 
pixels, we want to make this a perfect square image. So there we go. And then we want to grab everything, all our layers, and we'll just bring this up in the center so that this is, will be more of a uh, centered image. I think that's good. And then the main thing we want to do is uh, get rid of the background layer and you just drag that to the trash. So that gives us our transparency. And then we're going to go ahead and save this. Let's save it to a desktop as um, Street Fighter 4. And then we want to save it as a PNG file. So it'll give us us give us us it'll give us that uh, that transparency effect. Okay, so let's get rid of that, get rid of that, and then we're gonna go ahead and put it on here. And it's not gonna match with uh, the other circles I have because, as I said, we created that one from scratch. Um, but I will go ahead and just make it from the template. I'll probably just put in just the circle I have to what I already did because I really like that. So, so we're gonna go right click on the uh, the dock here, which is object dock. Or right click settings, and we're gonna add a blank shortcut. Now, the link is the actual shortcut to the game, so I'm gonna grab that. And then it auto titles for us, which is nice. And then the icon um, we're gonna use is here we go. We are gonna go to yeah, yep, this one on our desktop, and that's all we need. And so where to go? It should be at the end. There we go. There's our our circle icon for Street Fighter Four. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna use that and put that in with these other circles, so. Okay, 